Are you looking to avoid a payment in Surgeon Tact? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I will be covering reasons you might have avoided a payment, as well as a step-by-step -step process of how to do so. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Nathan, and I'm a Sage and Tact consultant here at ITAS, a financial transformation consultancy that specializes in Sage technologies. We are a multi-award winning Sage partner, one of the first Sage and Tact partners in the UK, and we are a Sage and Tact partner of the year award winners as awarded by Sage too. There may be a number of reasons why you may need to avoid a payment in Sage and Tact. The first one may be you've paid using the wrong date, you may have recorded a payment against the wrong invoice, or you may have realised the payment didn't actually leave your bank. If any of these things are true for you, here's how we can correct it. Firstly, open up the menu in the top left corner. Then go to Accounts Payable, and underneath the Reports heading, there's a button which says Registers. And then we're going to run the Check Register Report. I would advise favouriting this because it is a little bit hidden under the Registers dropdown. Before running the report, we must define the filters. Set the reporting period to ensure that the relevant payment is included, and we may want to filter by supplier or by the bank account to refine our results. Once ready to run the report, click the view in the top right corner. Once you've located your incorrect payment, you can see on the right hand side there is a void button. Click on the void button to open up a secondary window. On here, we have to be very careful because a lot of the common errors are setting the void date to an incorrect date. In this case, I'm going to use the same date as the original payment. Another place where people trip up is actually ticking this box and ignoring the body of text above it. The body of text above it actually asks you if you'd like to reverse the original invoice as well. Now, it's very uncommon to reverse the invoice and the payment at the same time. Once we are happy, we can then click Submit. What this does, it posts the equal and opposite to the original payment. That's all of the steps to avoid a payment in Sage Intact. Thank you very much for watching. If you found the video helpful, it'd be great if you could like and leave a comment below. I'd also recommend subscribing to our channel to keep up to date with new videos of release helping you with other processes in Sage Intact. And don't forget, here at ITAS, we don't just implement Sage Intact, but we also offer support, consultancy, training. Just head to www.itasolutions.co.uk to learn more about the services we offer.